Step 4. Editing Columns Some of the previously created columns are outside the boundary of exterior walls or fall on exterior walls. These are not needed in the design, so we'll now remove them in this step. Activate the first preset view located in the Editing Columns folder. Switch to the arrow tool in the toolbox. Switch to the entire element selection method in the info box. With this selection method, only elements that are fully within the selection area will be selected. Make sure that the suspend groups toggle in the standard toolbar is switched on. Switch it on if it's off. With the arrow tool active, click near label 1.1 and then click near label 1.2. The two clicked points define the two opposite corners of the selection rectangle. Any element fully within the selection rectangle will be selected. In this case, this means two columns. The exterior wall is not selected, as it is not fully within the selection rectangle. Now, hold down the Shift key, and while keeping it pressed, first click near label 2.1, and then click near label 2.2. When selecting elements while the Shift key is pressed, the newly selected elements will be added to the selection of already selected elements. Repeat the previous Shift selection method with labels 3.1 and 3.2. Repeat for labels 4.1 and 4.2 to add columns within their respective selection rectangles to the current selection. Please do not click at the point of the label arrow because that will select the label. Only click near it so the columns you wish to select are fully within the selection rectangle. In all, you should now have 12 columns selected. You can read the number of selected elements in the info box. Select the Edit Delete command to delete the selected columns, or press Delete on your keyboard for the same result. Activate the next preset view in the view map. Make sure that the arrow tool is still selected and repeat the multiple selection process performed in the previous steps based on the locations of labels 1.1 to 6.2. When drawing the selection rectangle defined by arrows 5.1 and 5.2, notice that two wall segments are selected which should not be deleted. Click the two wall segments one by one while holding down the Shift key to remove these walls from the selection set. Note that the Shift key can be used both to add to and to subtract from the selection. When the selection is done, you should have 24 columns selected. Right-click on an empty area of the floor plan to bring up the context menu and select the Delete command to delete the selected elements. Activate the next preset view located in the view map. With the arrow tool active, click the column near label 1 to select it. Activate Move Drag command from the context menu to make a copy of the column. Press the Control key once on Windows or the Option key on Macintosh. As you can see, a plus sign appeared next to the cursor, signaling that a copy of the selected element will be dragged with the original element left at its location. Using the guideline you learned about previously, drag a copy of the columns upward at 90 degrees to a distance of 7,500. Click elsewhere to deselect the column. The copy of the column appears 7,500 millimeters above the original column. Activate the next preset view from the Navigator view map. With the Marquee tool active, draw a marquee rectangle by clicking near label 1.1 and then clicking near label 1.2. Nine columns that fall completely within the marquee rectangle. Switch to the Column tool 
then select the Edit Select All Columns in Marquee menu item to select all columns in the marquee. The marquee can be used to limit selection to only a given area. When a marquee is drawn, only elements within the marquee will be selected. The combined result of drawing a marquee and activating the column tool is that only columns with the marquee are selected. Double click the column to favorite in the favorites palette. This will assign the values stored in this favorite to the selected column elements. The only change that will occur to these columns is that their heights will increase to extend into the third floor. Activate the next preset view from the view map. Activate the marquee tool and draw a marquee rectangle by clicking at the points of label 2.1 and then label 2.2. Switch to the Column tool and select the Edit Select All Columns in Marquee menu item to select columns falling within the marquee. Twelve columns that fall completely within the selection rectangle are selected. Again, double-click the Column 2 Favorite in the Favorites palette to modify the columns. Press the Escape key twice to first deselect the columns, then to remove the marquee. Activate the last preset view to see the results of the previous operations in the 3D window.